Uh, testing, testing, one, two, testing. Welcome back to uh, Vinkabot Bloodborne action. My name is David. We're still doing some DLC shenanigans. I am loving life right now with my um, weird sword whippy thing, whose name I've already forgotten. Uh, I've spent all my souls, so we're in business. Opened up a really badass shortcut in the end of the last episode. So let's go right back to the um, lighthouse hut. Meanwhile, the chat's talking about RP and Fudinari and Hermaphrodite and all that good stuff. Talk about dicks and balls. Yeah, the beast cutter, that's it. Talk about dicks and balls in the chat. Okay, so I don't want to go in there. That's the shortcut that I opened. I want to go back through here. And go around here. Oh, the sound effect of the rain, yeah. Was it raining before? What the fuck? Why is the bell ringing? Does he always spawn here until I kill him? I assume these guys are one offs. Come get it, dude. I double dog dare you. Oh my Jesus. This weapon is ridiculous. It can reach him from here. Oh my Lord. God damn. That man's name is Toby. Fuda Club and Bible Black has been the most popular Fuda hentai in my opinion. I didn't know Bible Black was a Fuda hentai. We got uh, one of these guys. Wow, that's hilarious. Let it slide. Dark Souls 2. Don't chase the fucking Titanite bugs. That's what they want you to do. Yeah, there's, there's enemy types now that uh, cast lightning spells that strike you from above. So as long as there's a roof over your head, you're fine. It's kind of interesting. I see um, a guy with a spear there and one of the casters down there. That guy's gonna not let... Ouch. I'm not gonna let well enough alone until I fuck him up. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. Wow, that's some serious damage. Retreat! Tactical retreat. Let's see here. Uh, wow, what the fuck? Here I was saying that was a fine in here, but maybe not so much. We gotta kill that guy before I can read the chat, as it turns out. I think there's another one somewhere. Did I get that real quick? Yo, he said abort. He aborted that attack. Go down there with your friends. Okay, let's read about dicks and stuff. Let's see here. Um, the minute of bad work of fiction is, in, is invoked, I lose interest, hence no Bible black. Wow, that's funny. I can thankfully say I can't recognize food of porn titles by name. Good stuff, Steve. Pretty much a food of hentai. Uh, one episode involves a green-haired nurse and a student. Okay, I believe it. I believe it. Sounds like a typical anime stuff. Ugh, I don't want to go down there yet. Oh, there's treasure there, though. Mm. I like treasure. I want to kill more lightning guys, though. Oh, there's one up there. I missed my chance to kill him. Should have killed him and then come back. Wow, that's really dumb. Oh, I don't want to drop down there by accident. I almost did. Maybe I did. Yep, I did. Alright, do whatever you gotta do, homeboy. Get away from that! Ooh. Holy fuck! Oh my god! 
Gremlins 2. Yo. This thing is fucking lit. Oh, come on. This might be death. Let's run away. Shout out to infinite rolls in this game. And Dark Souls rolling if that gets you fucking killed. Wow, Dark Souls, speaking of which. Ooh, the counter Dark Souls? What the fuck? Why? What? Do you see that? It's like the short version now. No? How come that one attack was short? And there are more Fuda Dojinshi than there are full Fuda Hentai. And of course, man, it's uh, kind of a niche thing, and uh, Hentai is uh, animated is more expensive. Fuck your slugs, dude. Fuck your urns, dude. I'm using a lot of fucking uh, vials, but who cares? There's a guy still ag aggro to me out there. That's pretty neat. Come on in here, bro. Come on in here. He just wants to throw shit. Kind of want to fucking Dark Souls this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love this weapon. Oh my god. We got dog. There's more guys out there though. Just mash R1. Oh, it feels so good, yo. Where has this weapon been all my life? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Yo, Beast Cutter, where have you been all my life? This is like fucking Dark Souls 1 Black Knight Sword Part 2. I want to kill that dog, watch. Hey, Fido! Oh, oh, not quite. That's cool, though. Ouch, out of stamina. Oh, my God. I love this thing. Waiting in the DLC for you to take interest in it. Yeah, I could have had the fucking cane, though, right? The cane was the same. That was my first choice, too. When I saw my friend Doug play this game, I was like, I'm going to use the cane. But then I was like, yeah, I'm going to try and do Marla, though, like Dark Souls. I need to have, like, a big heavy weapon for a tank build. Not no skill-based shenanigans. But I was wrong. Dear God, I was wrong. The Beast Cutter Boogaloo. The dogs look like Sahagin. Yeah, you're right. Beast Cutter Bilgaloo. <laughs> yeah, Bilgaloo. So there's somebody hiding back here, but nothing else. That's funny. So I got a ladder. Over there is the guy with the lightning staff. I can't go over there freely. The Beast Cutter Boogaloo. There's some... No. I keep think I'm going to fall on the fucking ground. But I don't think I am. I 
Okay, I, I want to go over here. I don't. I think I got this treasure over here, but I'm not a hunnit. I am not one hunnit. Hello, treasure. Aha. Uh -huh. That Beast Cutter Densetsu Boogaloo, yes. Although it can't really be a Beast Cutter Densetsu because you can't really start the game with it. In Dark Souls 1, that was the fucking Black Knight Sword Densetsu Boogaloo. Because uh, I used that sword from the fucking beginning of the game. That game was just the legend of the Black Knight Sword. Beast Cutter, it, it's so late in now. It's too late. So there's death right there, okay. Don't go no further. And up there is with the lightning rod guy. Lightning rod Tim, we call him. Oh, crazy lightning rod Tim. Oh, there's more treasure up there I missed somehow. Truly, I am one of the world's greatest scrubs. Okay, I think I've been here. Sure I have. Hmm, okay. Weird fucking sounds in here. And the treasure is right around here. Hmm, now how do I drop down there, though? Right there might work. Factoid about Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Mm, yes. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, no, I don't want no scrubs. A scrub is a guy who can't get no love from me. Uh, hanging from the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holla at me. Uh, no, I don't want your number. Uh, no, I don't want to give you mine. And no, I don't want to meet you nowhere. Who else is down there? I got one guy there. I don't trust this one bit, so I'm going to, uh... Vial up. Oh, he's gonna blow me up, you son of a bitch. So roll toward him. The Enchanter Tim is so named because the actor forgot the actual name and they went with it. Wow. Yeah, you're not as smart as you think you are, homeboy. Oh, we couldn't even fucking backstep away. Holy fuck. Who else is throwing shit? Yo, bloodstone chunks. Ooh! Oh, that was the fucking uh, bug down here. Yo. I can upgrade this thing again. I'm starting to breathe heavy, guys. I think I want to upgrade it again. True story. And there we go. Not sure how I ended up down here, but uh, there you go. I want to get back up and kill that fucking caster, but I'm already too late. I need to fuck in. I doubt it. The fuck? This thing has no charge attack? Hang on. No, oh, the two-headed form has no charge attack. That's yeah, probably just a troll. Open the fucking door. Okay. So, this is where I dropped down originally. Yes. Hmm, this is interesting. I can creep along here a certain distance, but not terribly far. We got bodies and boats, not sure why. Hmm. This is interesting. I hear somebody pitter pattering. But I don't see no pitter pattering.
That's spoopy. Now I'm going back up. That's what I wanted to do in the first place. Now who's up there? Anybody? Hmm. Oh, we got some treasure. There's guys over there. Can I smash through the wall? Mm, I don't like this one bit. Where is he? This is fucking Kilika, yeah. Where are you at, Holmes? Sin has obviously been here. Okay, so I can't do nothing here but get some treasure, I guess. Oh, hi there. Dude, you don't want to do this. You don't want these problems, bro. Oh. You hate to see that. So. Whoa, what the fuck is with that sound? I hate people scared scattering around. Why is. There's like a creepy ass echo under here. Uh, sloppy fighting? No. So, I think I've killed him three times. What was it called? The beast something or other? Beast hide garb. This is the assassin. The beast hide assassin, right? It's pretty fucking good. Kind of want to wear this now. It's not very good against thrust, though. What's my current gear at? Lowers thrust by just a very little bit. Eh, I think we should go with this. Mm. Yeah. What else do we have? The beast hide something or other? So I must not have his gloves yet. Does that sound go up for all invasions? No, just for this guy. It's kind of like his thing. The soundless bell. This game doesn't really have a whole lot of invasions. It doesn't really have invasions at all. Um, there's PvP, of course. But uh, all the other hunters in the game are actual corporeal hunters. There aren't anybody that actually like teleports into your world and fights you. Aside from this guy. Oh, by the way, the UK general election, uh, the party that called for it, uh, the one in power, uh, the one in power, did so because they thought they'd be given more seats in parliament. Yo. Bloody trousers, butchered student foreign. Do I have beast hide trousers? I must, right? It must be a different name, maybe. Hmm. I've killed him th three times, right? Yeah, three different places. Or, or maybe, I feel like maybe more. But the fucking leader called for things like resuming fox hunts and internet restrictions about a week before the vote took place. Wow. They lost a whole bunch of seats. That's amazing. That's Eating Crow 101. Harrowed Hood. Harrow. Here it is. Braidor's testimony. Oh, it's a helmet. 
That's what I got for killing him the first time. Right, I've killed him a few times then. Let's see here. I went from a clear majority party to one that needed to work in a coalition because they screwed up big time. That's hilarious. I feel like I have his full set. But what is it all called? Well, can I check? Hang on, let's see what's what's above it. Gaskioins is above that one. Gaskioins is above that one. So where's Gaskioins? Bloodied armbands. Braidor, here we go. Uh, down to compatriots, beastly scalp and hide, while still moist with blood. Most of the blood stains on his, this hide were from that day. Holy shit, this really sucks donkey dick. <laughs> is it enchanted or something? These are pretty good. Yeah. Okay. And where's uh, Gascoigne's trousers at? The bloody trousers. Here we go. Pretty trash. To be fair, Canada voted for a boxer, among other things. I am just a poor boy that my story seldom told. And I squandered my existence for a pocket full of mumbles. Such are promises. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this gear I have on right now. Looks ugly as shit, but who gives a fuck? Let's go kill that asshole. We got all this whole set now, right? Isn't that you said, Steve? Once I get all this shit, I can go kill him? This is kind of dope, actually. Kind of distracting, though. That weird thing on the side. So the compatriots hide, so we must have had a friend that turned into a beast. This reminds me of, you know, the way the beasts look with that weird hair they have. Naga's got it. In the clearing stands a boxer and a fighter by his trade, and he carries the reminders of every glove that laid him down or cut him till he cried out. In his anger and his shame, I am leaving, I am leaving, but the fighter still remains. Lighty die! Lighty die die, lighty die, lighty die. Lighty die die die, la 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 lie. Seeking only workmen's wages, I come looking for a job, but I get no offers. Just a come on from the whores on 7th Avenue. I do declare there were times when I was so lonesome I took some comfort there. Now I'm hanging up my winter clothes, wishing I was gone going home. Where the New York City winters aren't bleeding me. Leading me. Going home. How the fuck do I get back up? Oh, right, I can go over there. Sung way out of order there. Yeah, I know. I want to sing it all, though. I want to sing it all, so I had to go out of order. Okay, so... Let's run across here. Now we're back in business, but there's still that fucking caster up there. Making my life difficult. Well, actually, they haven't even fucking attacked me yet, but I know they're gonna. Who the fuck is that over there? 
Just a scrub. But he's got fucking lightning bolts, though. Lightning bolt backup. Gotta make sure that I fucking, uh... Yeah, that fucker. Damn. Hmm. I can kill him in, like, two hits. Okay, so we can... Oh, it's not gonna help me. Okay, here's a roof over my head. Wish he would fucking drop down. Ass white. Seriously, a boxer. where I thought I wouldn't be able to get back to. Anything else cool down here? He pulls no punches. Ugh, Naga. Ah. I let it slide. I'll let that one slide. Okay. Yo, you think you're pretty fucking funny, don't you, bitch? I think you're pretty fucking funny. Mmm. Ugh. Yo, got that poopy sound? Hey, some blood gems. I'm enjoying myself. We're chilling out. This ain't too fucking exciting. But nothing wrong with that, though. So now I can finally go back. There's no reason to go back in there, right? No. No. Okay. So I've got the shortcut that I want. So now we're in business. People do tend to shit themselves when they die. That's true. A shitty way to go. Someone play the Nagahina theme song. Ah, that's, I could survive that fall normally. But I doubt that I will be able to here. Oh, look it. I know where that is. Hmm. That's interesting. If I leapt from here, it might be a shortcut. He said before he fucking certainly died. Although, I, this is a good spot to die, because my souls are right here. I'm so fucking curious. We gotta try it. Okay. Guaranteed death. Oh, hey, look over to the beach, please. Yeah, I saw somebody over there. It's like a, a weird, washed-up, um, whale-looking thing. Let's get our souls back and check it out. Nee, loading times, yeah. Okay. That's not so bad, really. I've definitely seen much worse. This costume's kind of sick. I want to go back and kill Braidor now. I and mean, he did jump me. He's now officially jumped me a couple times. Okay, let's check out this beach. It's a Cassio. A Cassio. A Cassio. Green, green, grow. Definitely something weird over there. The water's all frozen in place, so I think that's just, uh, the bad graphics. Or maybe it's lore. Pretty dope. Okay, let's go buy some fucking blood vials. Go kill Braidor's bitch ass. And then, uh, carry on. Braidor go and wish he never fuck with me. I promise. The boxer will get in a lot of jabs. We may be hooked on him. No! 
Oh, why did I read that? I didn't see it until just now. Holy shit, Naga. That's truly amazing. You've got a gift. You've got a gift. Okay. We're getting close to 600, guys. We're getting pretty close to 600. Look at this fucking mask. I like the horns. It's got horns and antlers. I want to have like that in real life, to be honest. I was trying to try and make one one time. But it was harder than I expected. That's what she said. I've got uh, lots of blood chunks now. But how many blood chunks do I have? I don't know. I've got enough. And that's what matters. I need more souls. Souls come unto me. Here we go, yo. Naga is into punishing me. And punishment in general. Ah, the beast cutter. Oh god, I'm so close to getting level 9. I want it! I got some new blood gems too, anything good? runes. What do I have equipped right now? More echoes, more items, boost max HP, stamina recovery. Strengthens viscerals. That's not what he meant. Not sure I know what you mean. Let's see here. Uh, more blood echoes. Who cares? Physical damage reduction? No. <coughs> Add frenzy resistance. That's what I want. Guidance boosts rally. No. Okay, so yeah, I want that one that has a uh, frenzy resist. Steve warned me. What's my total frenzy resist now? Pretty high. Higher than it was, anyway. Look, I got frenzied. What the fuck? A bug, maybe? <laughs> That's funny. Okie dokie, Smokey. So, uh... I can't, um... Buy any more blood chunks. They're quite expensive. Gotta find them. But I can buy some more of these babies. They're so close to 600. Let's go kill fucking... Brady, or whatever his name is. Baldor. Bilbo. Uh, I want the underground corpse pile. It's whatever you get a lot of resist to a stat. Oh, kind of like a uh, uh, immunity, you know, uh, when you get injected with the flu virus. It gives you the flu a little bit, but it helps resist it. Or it could just be a bug. If you get too much resist and it goes up a little bit. The game acts like you had the level of the stat you resist. I see, I see, okay. Yeah, it's a little weird bug. Dildo Sagans. Wow. Is this guy gonna respawn or what? Dude, you're making a mistake. That was the wrong weapon. Oh, you're gonna wanna get out from behind that door, dude. This game is something special. Ooh, 
Yo. Unbelievable. It sounds so weird. Make sure there's a chick. Okay. Let's work this guy over real fast. I'm gonna get some, uh... I'm probably gonna die in one hit. I'm not sure what I'm worried about. Hey, buddy, I got your full set. How do I look? What is it? Oh, yes. I, <laughs> I intend to do just that. Such is the nature of man. Fuck off, you douchebag. <laughs> okay, enough of the talky talk. Give me your shit. Blood letter, there we go. That seems like a strength weapon, although it probably has blood tinge as well. Being called the blood letter and all. Uh, yes, requires quite a lot of blood tinge. Okay, well there you go. That was a fun little diversion. Let's go back to that creepy room... Where, um, all those guys were worshipping that, uh, that strangeness. All the little sluggy dudes. Gotta remember to go back and kill those fleas later on. I mean, they're so... I don't know, I got a pretty good weapon for it right now. Kinda wanna do that instead. It's a porn parody of everything. You ain't lying, man. But what is the closest bonfire to those fleas? Hmm, Nightmare Church. Or oh, the Hunter's Nightmare. I'm gonna try this one. There's a shortcut that I opened up. This DLC is pretty substantial. But I'm sure it costs an arm and a leg as well. In its day. Empty shrine back here, that's kind of weird. That's where that one guy used to be. Now he's moved on. Not sure exactly where to anymore. This is a pretty good looking spot right here, actually. This is right where I wanted to fucking be, yo. Look at these fucking graphics, god damn. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Oh shit, my bad, homeboy. Didn't mean to do you like that, dude. When a problem comes along... Ooh! Oh, God! Yo, this weapon is so fucking satisfying to use. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh, you son of a bitch. You hit it twice. Oh, no! Dude, oh, he just watched. He don't want none of these problems. He don't want none of these problems, yeah. Holy shit. Jesus. I feel more powerful now than I did in Dark Souls 1 with the Black Knight Sword. That's hilarious. It's the animation, the sound effect. The fact that it's just so overpowered. That's fine, dude. That's honestly fine. Jesus. I am a god of- I feel like goddamn fucking Kratos. Okay, I want to kill these fucking f uh, fleas. I think this weapon is the one for the job. 
Because I can do this. Oh, no, I can't. Thought I could. Not quite. Wow. Ooh. God, so much fucking health. But they are really stuck in there. Not sure if it makes it easier or harder than being stuck in there. Okay. Bro, cut it out. Can I stun lock you? So much fucking health. I can stun lock him though. God, this weapon is so amazing. The stamina you stun. Kind of feel glad I raised a lot of stamina now. Here I was saying that I wish I hadn't wasted all that stamina. But now look at me. Oh, come on. There's still a couple left down here. When I say a couple, I mean two. I don't mean like I'm inferring their relationship status. They do make a cute pair, though. I'm gonna run in and uh, swing this thing around a lot. Run in and then swing it. Like this. That well, worked out pretty well. It worked out as I had hoped. That little ed that little bit on the end there, maybe not so much, but I wasn't really watching my stamina. That was the problem there. They're attracted to blood. Holy shit, that was the mother of all Tessigas. God damn, my erection right now. I'm sorry. I know I said I'd keep it PG-13, always on this channel. You guys know I usually try my bestest. But god damn. Not an overly hidden lore thing, yeah. The blood lickers. That was the ultimate Tessaiga. There's another one down there, right? Boys, boys, boys. Oh, fuck. Yo, I don't want no problems, want no problems with you. Keep on rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Hmm, I don't know. I thought I had life all figured out, but even in there, that's a huge mess. But it makes Castle Canis a little bit more interesting. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm, should I go axe for this area? Why don't we try it? Because this Tessai guy, I think, is a little bit wider and a little bit faster. That's fine, that's fine. It's worth it. Hashtag worth. Get some stamina back. I like it. I love it. What am I doing? I don't even know what button to hit anymore. Ooh, I had the wrong weapon. Hmm, bonk. Let's go swing this thing around. Break yourself, fool. It's fine, doesn't do any damage. Come on, can I change my weapon or no? Ooh, the reach. 
Okay. What do we got back here? Constable's trousers. What the fuck are those doing back here? Having a little bit of sexy time back here, or what? Bloody mess you're making. USA, the boomer. Boom. Here comes the boom. Ready or not. Okay, so I've been through here before. So now we gotta go back. My memory is fucking legendary, man. I have f f no recollection of this. Where the fuck am I? We got some fucking... Dobermans. Imagine a Gungan saying, Yusa da Buma. Ooh. Oh, I know where this is. Okay. Let's go kill some more fleas. Okay. Misa no have it, da booma. Here's a Mr. Junebug. Shout outs to you, Mr. Junebug, for keeping it real. Keeping us company here tonight. Okay, so this is a good weapon for this. There's a few of them there. I'm gonna keep it roll. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. I respect your distance. I respect your distance. Jesus, just flatten them. Where are you going, homeboy? Come on. Jesus Christ, these, this weapon is insane. Yo. Okay, yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh, I, I can stun like I'm from behind. Do you think you have a higher chance of breaking poise from behind? No idea. Well, let's see here. Will you let it... Will that flee before you? Wow. You should keep the dune bug. Take care of it like Hercules. Uh, your R2-R2 will flat just about anything human-sized. Jesus. Let's destroy this guy. This guy's weak to the circle strafe. Hmm, okay. We got some hunters, and we've got some hitters up there. I know that much. Most tend to lose poise if you take them from behind. Ugh. Uh... Steve, you're a moderator now. You can ban Naga, right? Oh, what the fuck is going on over here? Let's see here. Got a blood ocean. Okay, there's some guys up there with those um, time detonators. I go in here? Wondrous hidden path. That's what it looks like, but I'm thinking not. I love this weapon. How bad you want me to lose the few donations you got? That's true. That's true. Where the fuck am I going? Where was I going without ever knowing the way? Anyone can see the road. Oh my god. 
it's totes spooping here. Where the motherfuck am I? A new dungeon? Listen, bro, you don't want these problems, I guarantee it. Don't come through there! Ooh, look at this guy! Yo! You guys got held up the fucking wazoo. Or you could monitor. Oh my god, Steve. You have that kind of power? Holy shit, what have I done? Oh, this guy's fucking gun. Can I stun lock you by any chance? Maybe. Looks that way. I'm gonna heal just in case. Because that minigun is not a joke. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Fuck. I can just fucking stun lock for days with this thing. Not like this. You son of a bitch. Shit. It's so damn dark in here. I should put on my, uh... Lantern. I don't need, uh... Nothing else. Shit. That's so fucking cheap. The fuck am I supposed to do? Again, man, unlimited ammo on these hunters is so fucking annoying. Put some stamina back. Torch does nothing. I've got stamina. You son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Uh, I can also time her out. In Soviet Russia, Overlord mods you. I got his Gatling gun, but I bet you it's not going to be as good in my hands because I have limited ammo. It does have a bunch of shots per bullet. Okay, so he, he, he might have been working within realistic constraints. But that make me mad in this game. Oh, well, I think he's by himself in here. I think this is more like an arena to fight him in. Instead of that little cave. I hear somebody breathing heavy. I don't think it's me. Mmm, a chunk. I need, what, like three more? This dungeon is fucking huge! I thought I was coming back here to get, like, one or two items. Twin bloodstone shards. Right, I don't need those anymore. The fuck is that thing? Hard to tell. He probably wasn't, but it's not like a one to one on bullets for the Gatling, yeah. Yeah, obviously, he wasn't working in realistic constraints. I just mean, maybe by the time I killed him, he hadn't used up a full clip, you know what I mean? If he, if he were a player, he only fired it, what, like five times? So yeah, he had infinite ammo for sure, but maybe he didn't survive long enough for it to be an advantage. The fuck is that thing? Sounds pretty pissed off. Oh, it's one of those. Ooh. That range. Mm. 
Mmm, my god, it's so satisfying. So satisfying. Got a payment from Naga? Tell the story of Hercules. Okay. Also, thank you, Naga, of course. So, yeah, uh, uh, I think four years ago now? Shit. What the motherfuck is that? Hang on. That's something horrifying. Hold up. I want to get back here. Unlock on. Shit, what the fuck? I can't see shit in here. Why am I locked on? Let's escape and regroup. Here it comes, but yeah, I want to fight out here where I can fucking see. Let's get a gun. Oh, it's not a gun. It's not a gun. I forgot. I can't stun lock it either. Can I cheese him here? I can cheese him, I'll betcha. He might leap, though. That fucking HP! I'm out of fucking blood vials, holy shit. I'm gonna have to hit and run. That HP is totally absurd, man, for a guy that I can't stun lock? The fuck? How the fuck how are you gonna beat that in a fair fight? Jesus Christ. That's a blood-starved beast. Yeah, I thought you looked familiar. It was last year, year before last at most, really. Because I thought it was in my first year at working at Meyer, which was back in 2013. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely, yeah, it was back in 2013. Because I, I had, I've already been unemployed for almost two years. So it was uh, been a lot longer than that. But anyway, uh, my Uncle Noe was a very nice man. Uh, one of the greatest guys of all time, for sure. Comes by with a tomato plant. And he always has this thing where he comes by with, like, random shit. And he's like, here, have this. And, uh, in this case, it was a tomato plant. You're blood-soaked. Yeah, I'm fucking soaked in blood. He comes out with the, with the tomato plant. He's, uh, he lives out in the boonies now. So he has, like, a tomato farm. You know, he has, like, a garden. Let's put it that way. And, uh, here we go. Let's get my torch back out. It's all potted up. He goes, here you go, have this. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I'm, I'm not, I have no green thumb. He's like, just keep it, man, just keep it. So I put it on my desk. And I'm like, whatever, I'm going to let it die, I guess, or whatever. And uh, over the next couple days, I start seeing very strange, like, berries on my desk. They're like weird little berry-shaped things. Like, where, are, where are these coming from? What the fuck are they? Are they, like, fucking insect eggs? Am I getting an infestation or something? What the fuck? And one day I'm at the computer, and I see one of them drop down right in front of me. Plop, right past my computer monitor. And, uh, you know, because the uh, tomato plant is above, on the shelf. Uh, right above the desk. And I'm like, what? So I look up, and I'm looking around for it, and there's a huge fucking caterpillar on this tomato plant. And I'm like, what the fuck is that thing? I've never seen a caterpillar that fucking size before. And I was like, you know, I was like, uh, insectophobic. So I was like freaking out about it. I was like, ugh, what the fuck? I'm watching it, and I get out my, uh, an amygdalan arm. It's a weapon of some kind. So I get my phone out to record it. I can't believe this thing. And I'm like, yo, look at this huge-ass bug in my room. And I was like, well, what am I gonna do with it? Shit. So I'm like, I guess I'll fucking ignore it, I guess. So I'm trying to live my life, and, uh, I'm up there. I keep watching it, right? It moves very slowly. Oh, this is the end of the dungeon, okay. The uh, caterpillar moves very slow, so I'm like, I'm not scared of it. I'll just hang out with it for a while. Gradually, it starts eating through its plant, though. It eats through the tomato plant. There's nothing left. I was like, what am I going to do with this thing? 
I'm not going to kill it, that's for sure. If I leave it outside, there's no tomatoes out there. And I'm looking up to... I, with Nagahina's help, because she uh, used to live on a farm, I guess, knows much more about this kind of thing than me. She tells me that it needs tomatoes to live and blah, blah, blah. I'm looking up information about it. She gives me the uh, technical name for it, so I can Google it. I Google it with her help, and I find out what it needs to, to eat. And so I go out and I buy it some food, but then I'm worried about it, like, escaping, or, like, getting under my foot or whatever. So I made, like, a little box for it out of chicken wire from uh, Home Depot, or Menards in this case. And I kept it as a pet for, I think, like, three weeks. I fell in love with that thing, man. It hurt emotionally. I, I don't usually let myself have pets because I'm so sensitive. But I was so worried about it. A lot of times I was so worried about it dying and stuff. But, uh, eventually it started to go into its, uh, its, uh, puberty phase, right? Where it starts getting all ornery, and, uh, it needs to dig. So I had to make a whole new apparatus for it to dig into. Like, I made some kind of weird tub with dirt and a cage over the top of it. And I got a recording of it, um, I got some really great recordings of it digging into the dirt and everything. And I finally, uh, once it was, uh, pupating, it was like a little, uh, pod, I drove it back out to where my uncle lives, and I, without his knowledge, by the way, buried it back near his yard. So it's my hope that it became a moth one day, but that's, uh, was a really, uh, interesting part of my life, man. So many emotions with this bug. And since then, I love bugs. Since then, I'm no longer afraid of bugs. Tomato hornworm, yeah, tomato hornworm. Usually we pinch their heads off. Yeah, because they're a pest. They're a pest. They'll eat your tomato plants for sure. I know from experience. Uh, but yeah, this one I raised it. And it was uh, a great time. I'm glad I have so many recordings of it. I have lots of video of it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Getting kind of choked up just thinking about it. Yeah, since then I'm not afraid of bugs. Once you've loved a bug, then you're no longer afraid of them. So, uh, I got a bunch of souls now. Steve is still talking about, uh, <laughs> yeah, when the communists come. Oh my god, the euphemism for the Maria fight. Wow. Yeah, Naga knew what I had. A big, beautiful fucking caterpillar, man. Tomato hornworm. So you placed a tomato-eating insect near a tomato farm. Your family ran. Exactly why I wanted it to live. It was more important to me that it lived. So, yeah. That's why I drove it out there, man. You're making jokes. That's why I drove it out there. Because I knew there's tomatoes there. I wonder. I kind of feel like my Uncle Noe might have given me that plant because he didn't want to kill it either. That's what I think. Okay, return to the Hunter's Dream. Yes, let's buy some blood vials. So, I finally explored those areas I'd passed by before with the fucking fleas. I got myself a, uh... A, uh new weapon. I used up that fucking uh, blood vial that I've been saving for a long time. That one with the, uh, from the woman I killed uh, at the clinic. But you know what? I did what I had to do. We're almost at six, fucking 600 souls, man. Or 600 vials, excuse me. It's gonna be that time of night. I'm starting to lose my, uh, my speech. Uncle probably pinches dozens a day. I doubt it. He's not exactly a, a farmer. Maybe his wife does. And Steve has a link for me. I'm going to check that out in a few minutes here. Thank you, Steve. So, uh, it's time for me to stop streaming. I got like five minutes left, so I'm going to repair my, uh, my new true love. The beast, whatever it's called. Beast cutter. Hmm, I want to use some souls. Let's use all the souls. And I can't fortify it yet. I'm so, I'm one chunk away. Hmm, I want to use up my insight, but I don't have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough. I need 20 insights to buy a fucking chunk. 
Let's repair it then. Mmm, Kidoki. And now I'm gonna go buy some more blood vials. The Naga's singing, uh. Uh. I can't think of the name of that band. It's not gonna come back to me. I have no idea why she's singing that. She's just excited in general, I guess. Oh, baby, I want to get 600 uh, vials. Let's go farm some vials for like two seconds. Then I'll quit there. Uh, I want to go to uh, the Tomb of Uden. The Tomb of Uden. Steve's going to stream some Deadpool, maybe. Or maybe some uh, Far Cry. Or perhaps he's too tired to stream at all. I would definitely forgive him. Hmm, I'm quite sleepy. The Proclaimers. I wouldn't have got that. Ooh, look at my souls. 420. This game's trying to tell me something. Hey, guys. Oh, lord. Don't give me a fucking shard, dude. Come on with that shard bullshit. I think I just one shot of that POS. Yo, one of them survived. Look how lonely he looks. Oh my goodness. Is that the saddest thing you ever saw in your life? Look at this dude. Hmm. Flat. Ooh, he got a hit in. Flock of seagulls. Yeah, that's kind of what I would have thought too. Nah, flock of seagulls. Nah. Yeah. And I ran, I ran so far away. How many of these blood vials do I have now? Oh, I can't check, right? God, it's annoying. I might as well make like Hercules and go the distance. That was weird. Just one shot of that man. Yo, come get some. Oh, look at how far away that was. There we go. We are maxed out. Let's pop it. Oh, wow. I, wow. It's, uh, it's gone. That's okay, though. Yeah, that's why I said Naga. I like Hercules. I beat you to it, girl. Who the fuck do you think you are? Claw Mark Rune? What the fuck? I'm behind the clinic, I guess. Got a new rune. Oh, I'm not behind the clinic. I'm. Oh, it was that guy. He burst out of there. That was the. Uh... That was the little girl. That was the little girl whose uh, father was Gascoigne. So I'm popping one. But I want. <laughs> I wanted to have full health. I thought I saw a little pixel that was missing there. Hercules got aggressive that day. Yeah, he did. You son of a bitch. That was the guy that gives you the flame sprayer? I don't remember that. I don't remember what his quest was about. I vaguely recall him being a guy. Don't remember what he wanted me to do.
How do you like that, motherfucker? Here's my blood vial. All you wanted was to give him a new tomato. Oh yeah, that Hercules, yeah. Wow, I wonder if I did that subconsciously. We were just talking about the mighty Hercules, and now I was talking about Disney's Hercules. That's funny. Just gives it to you after killing a boss or two. Okay. I think I got it from him. Organic, because you were afraid of poisoning him. Yeah. Okay, so now we got full blood vials. We can finally start leveling up again. Without fear, with courage and pride, for we are the Ripple Force. The most powerful army in history. Mmm, key doggy, smoky, a good place to stop. Guys, thank you so much. Very fun night tonight, in no small part due to the beast cutter. I will see you tomorrow for one final stream of the week, I think. Play some Cladoon, play some Bloodborne. Hopefully I'll see you guys around then. Naga, thank you for the uh, contribution. That's awesome. Steve, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Rare John, Kevin, Eric, thanks guys. I will see you guys around. Peace out.